team moving on, even though it was the later game. Uh, the Rams going to the Super Bowl, taking care of Garoppolo. I think both of these teams, I mean, I, I could get the Rams. I'm honestly a bit surprised the 49ers bounced back the way that they did. They drafted pretty well, though. Garoppolo had a good run, uh, got his team in good position. Uh, but overall, you look at this game, 20-17, to 17, uh, a three-point win here. It was also a three-point win for the, the Bengals over KC. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but a game ceiling interception uh, here to, to basically seal the game uh, and, and get it done. You look at the end of, end of the game here, uh, Matt Stafford goes out with a minute nine, just kind of took it down all the way. The Niners ran out of timeout, so um, <laughs> there was nothing they could do. But, of course um, – Aaron Donald put pressure. Howard uh, got the pick. Overall, when I look at this, um, whew, I'm excited for the Super Bowl. But what was it? Did the Rams do good? Like, was it good enough for the Rams or was it not enough by the Niners? Like, I, I love that question. Did a team lose the game? Did they give it away? Did they not do something right? that caused them to lose, or did a team just outplay them? Well, the Rams' defense definitely shut down Garoppolo in that fourth quarter. Uh, Garoppolo, 16-30, 232 yards, not too bad. Two touchdowns, not bad. The pick literally was right there at the end. Matt Stafford had a pick. Uh, he was 31-45 of 45 for 337 yards and two touchdowns. Cam Akers ran the ball pretty well. Um Right there, um, thir 13 uh, carries for 48. Overall, this was a great defensive game, like I expected. I'll have to go back and look what I predicted, but I think it was something around this, like a 20 to 17 or whatever. I, I didn't expect too many points, I don't think. Uh, overall, um, <laughs> you see here, Jaquiski Tart drops potential INT in the fourth quarter. Um, overall in this game, the Niners, and, and not even just because of the score, it wasn't just, oh, of course they had a chance because it was only a three-point loss. No, they had a hard time getting off the field on third down at times against Matthew Stafford, or they had plays right there in their hands where they could have picked them off or could have made a stop. They had some holding calls. They had some penalties. They had, they had all these altercations, these these just fatal flaws that cost them. You look at this matchup, again, first downs. So this is what won the game for L.A. outside of that pick. They had more plays offensively. They had more time of possession. It, it was all Matt Stafford. 25 first downs to San Francisco's 16. Um, they were 11 of 18 on third down. They tried a fourth down at one point, couldn't get it. Uh, they had 76 plays of offense uh, compared to 50 for the Niners. <laughs> That's a 26-play difference. They had more yards. Um, they each had nine drives. Um, passing, they had more yards at 326. Um, you know, and again... Both the teams threw a pick. <laughs> Matt Stafford took two sacks, lost 11 yards. They ran the ball better, right? They made two trips to the red zone. Um, or no, six, I'm sorry. But they, they were able to score or get in on two. Um, each had a turnover. Again, no fumbles in this game. But again, I like looking at the overall game stats here. This is what won the game. Obviously, they had better defense, but even the offense was pretty good. I mean, it's like the scoreboard is like it, – it's a little worse on paper, but, I mean, each team had a turnover. Okay, they're tied at one apiece in turnovers, but 25 to 16 in the first down column here, the Rams up on top. 35 minutes, 39 seconds. Basically, they held on to the ball more. They were able to extend drives. Uh, make big explosive plays downfield, uh, control the clock, 
tempo, everything like that. The late interception, again, I mentioned uh, there at the end of the game, practically sealed it. The Niners had a chance. Uh, they didn't even have enough. I mean, they they had less yards than the Rams too. So, I mean, all of this right here shows just how good. Um, and I, I mean, it practically wasn't even close uh, and how the offense is performed outside of the scoreboard. I mean, there was just a little bit more explosiveness for the Rams than there was the 49ers, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, I honestly, I, in a way, I kind of thought they were evenly matched going in. You know, they, they had the receivers, they had running backs, they had quarterbacks that could play. But I think ultimately you kind of saw – that man, Matthew Stafford, is a baller, and it ain't even close. He, uh, Jimmy G is not anywhere near Matthew Stafford in his category. But again, and I'll make this quick, and we'll get and look at Cincinnati and KC. But overall, the 49ers, who look to kind of find redemption after losing two years ago to the Chiefs in Super Bowl 54, which I would say probably is the coolest Super Bowl I've seen in a while because, I mean, Pat Mahomes and the comeback he had. But they were looking to get back, not necessarily get revenge, although it would have been cool. The Rams, they get some redemption too because last both of these teams right here, last time they were in the Super Bowl, we're going back two years, three years, right? They lost. Both of them looking for redemption. Well, now the Rams are in there. And they're going to play the Bengals. And it's going to be awesome. And I think it's also going to be very historic considering both of those two teams have great droughts. But again, in the NFC title, 20-17, to 17, the Rams up over the 49ers. Great defensive game and overall better quarterback play by Matthew Stafford, Cam Akers, and company. A little bit by Sonny Michelle, too, on the offense. The Rams getting it taken care of in L.A. Going and staying in LA, by the way, for Super Bowl 56.